Hello guys, uh, another quick video regarding Metastock Icon. Um, so here today we're going to be looking at the app library. Uh, the app library is basically where you find uh, the, the gadgets and different apps of um, Metastock to get you going. Um, some are very, very useful, others I don't tend to use it often, so I'm going to show you the top ones that I tend to use. So uh, Monitor tends to be great if you just want to create a simple list and then you can just have your watch list coming in there. I'll be creating a more comprehensive look at the, at the watch list later on in another smaller video. So that's um, a great uh, one to look at. Charts again, obviously trading and charting go hand in hand. That's a good one to look at as well. News monitor, you can um, set up news monitors for different um, areas of the market you want to. Just quickly type them in, no problems there. Um, there is spreadsheets, and for those who you who are technically able, you can create your own apps here. There's a small world clock here, and this enables you can just look at the different time zones around the world. Nothing too fancy there. So if we go to analytics and calcs, this can be pretty, uh, uh, pretty useful as well. Here, what we were going to see is the average historical uh, return for you can type in for any asset or stock or um, instrument I believe um, so type in Amazon and it should update daily weekly right and if I just change the time parameter there and it should start calculating it um, there we go so since the 1st of August the average uh, most common amount of percentage gain is 0.81% so, but you can change that for any time scale, for any asset class or anything that you're looking at, just to see what your expected gain or loss could be at any point in time. Um, and it does all the analysis straight for you rather than messing around with Excel. Um, so that's the historical return analysis. Correlation major, uh, average calculator. Have I? Let's wait for that to load up. So again, you can type in the ticker and get volatility raw data for certain stocks and different um, uh, uh, instruments that you're looking at. I also like the charting one, obviously. Um, we can look at the credit default swap chart. Oh, no. Yeah. So, and the curve chart is really useful. This can show you the yield curves of pretty much every nation there is right now, and that's in the news pretty much on a daily basis nowadays given where we are in the business cycle uh, there's the eurozone yep not looking too good united kingdom can go back to the us shows you the complete yield curve all at a click of a button um what else can we show you interest rate spreads there's the yep so we can see the um, interest rate spread chart for the united states versus the eurozone Nice and simple there. Um, technical analysis charts, if you have any templates and whatnot, you can start doing them in here and start saving them here. So you can just click on your different templates and for different instruments, here we're looking at the one month uh, for US bonds. Um, what else can we show you? So for companies, there we go, for markets, uh, bond views, Very. this is more how you get to the bond views for and you can click on overview and you know it's for the United States and you can just change it for different countries. And then you can look at the overviews of different, uh, the bond views for different countries. Um, global fund flows, we've shown you in the overview, but this is how you would get to it. Um, FX guide, so if you want just a generic FX guide on one sheet, this would be it. You got all your, the most commonly traded FX pairs there, any FX news and government bond yields and top commodities, how they're affecting markets and whatnot. All simple, very much laid out for you. Um, as always, I um, I would instruct you to just, keep, just keep, keep clicking on the different options and keep clicking on different things that they're, they're available just to see what they do and, and how they work. Uh, news and research, so you have news monitors, you can just click on the news apps and type in different, different um, asset classes and you'll get all the news regarding different um, uh, different stocks or forex pairs or bond yields or etc whatever you want to look at you'll get all the news straight away uh, polls are great so you can see which way people are expecting markets to go to um, it, i've seen fx poll there 
but it doesn't seem to be listed right now. Uh, portfolio management tools as well, searching if you want to search for different things within the platform or for different curves and whatnot. Um, and that's a brief overview of the App Studio. Um, and if you want to have a look at anything else um, within the platform or want me to do a quick video, please do tell me. Um, please like and share the video. And as always, there is a referral link in the uh, description below. Um, you'll be able to get a, a price for one month for three months. So that's a free for one deal uh, priced at 99 US dollars. Do try Metastock out and it, it will change the entire way you trade. Uh, once you go with Icon, it's hard to go back. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video.